my boy squad included in the DNA test is a verification of her gender as in there was no for sure yet until we got this as to what gender she is <gasps> and my boy squad you guys will be shocked to know that the Gaia is actually a female. Trick <laughs> ya! Yeah, she's actually a female. Okay, to be honest, RJ and I were kind of concerned. We never brought it up in the vlogs because a few people who have seen Ligaya in person have mentioned offhand that, oh, she looks like a male. And I'm like, no, 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 she's a female. Um, but then, like, I started to wonder, how does Tita Nora know for sure that this is a female? Um, did they do a DNA test? Because with these birds, to be absolutely sure, you have to have a DNA test. Like, it's something like you get one of their feathers, um, there's a way to get through blood sample and then you can verify exactly what mm -hmm, gender she is um, and then we called Tita Nora the breeder and she said yeah the DNA papers are on the way and I'm like what? <laughs> so she hasn't had her DNA tested so all along this bird might be a male so I kept it quiet I didn't want to panic the Mabuhai squad until we got the verification card and happy to announce Ligaya is definitely a female. <laughs> that is so funny. So funny. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's got our ID number, the ring number. A lot of you guys asked, what is that metal ring around her wrist? Well, it's like an ID tag so that if she were to be gone and someone were to steal her and then I were to find this person that would steal her, given that I don't murder that person. Just kidding, I would never do that. Um, we could at least prove. As if the wouldn't be proof enough. We have actual proof that this is our bird. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? Did you guys know that the scientific name of an African gray is Sitakis erythakis? Mm -hmm. Sitakis erythakis. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Harry Potter. Sitakis erythakis. I would have botched that spell. I didn't say it right. Guys, you see that fruit up there in that palm tree? This here is a foxtail palm, I believe. And those fruit are edible for Ligaya. Ligaya, I'm gonna choose foxtail palm for our property so that you can eat all of those. Mm -hmm. You can eat all the palm nuts to your heart's content, Ligais. Mm -hmm. I believe they eat that in the wild, actually. It's your native diet. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ligaya, let's just wake up the whole neighborhood this morning. Let's do that. Yeah? You're gonna wake up all the neighbors? Let them know you have arrived. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you are so vocal this morning. You happy? Hmm? You like singing? Hmm? Mm. Thank you for your beak kiss. Oh my! Those are some palm nuts now. But I don't know if this is foxtail palm. Based on my research, most palms are edible for birds, except for like some of the ones that belong to two like families or genus. Gen oh, do any of you bird experts know? You see this palm tree here? Here, let's get a good look at it. This one right here. I don't know, is that foxtail? I'm not sure. But would these be edible? Like this is part of an empty lot, by the way. That empty lot I'm always parking beside. Are those fruits edible for the guys? Let me know, you parrot experts. Let me know. It's bearing fruit at like such a low level. Like I could totally reach that fruit. See, it's a beautiful palm tree too. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. You love me? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Neck scratches, neck scratches. That's all this bird wants. Okay, step up, step up. <laughs> Meowing like a cat. Okay, here, 
onto your home. Okay guys, another thing to do now is we want to vote for the official name of this cage. Yes, a few vlogs ago, um, I asked you guys to leave your name suggestions for this cage. We want to give this cage a name, very Ants Canada styles. We want you guys to name this home of the Gaia. And you guys sent in some amazing suggestions. RJ and I were laughing going through them. We chose our top five favorites. Mm -hmm. And we put them in a poll for you guys. So, click here mm -hmm, and leave your vote, guys, on that uh, I poll. And you guys will officially name this big bird mansion of a home of the Gaia. Mm -hmm. And we'll call it that. Yes, the Gaia, this home of yours shall have a name. All right, Mabuhai squad. So, the baby is loud. One, because she heard me turn on the camera. Um, because she's throwing a tantrum, begging for um, the, the gruel. Now, I'm gonna try to fight it and not give her gruel. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs for a sec, so I can explain this to you guys. Ligaya, you have food right there. Go. Delicious pellets, seeds, nuts, even fruit and veggies. Go. I'm gonna close this. Close this door. <sighs> Alright, so... I'm not going to feed her gruel today. I want today to be her very first full day where she doesn't have the gruel. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because Ligaya now, I think she's approaching 22 weeks. Now, in the wild, these birds um, at this age are flying, they're eating solids, totally weaned. She is so used to feeding from the syringe and should be completely off it by now. Now, um, this morning, Ate Elsie, my housekeeper, uh, had gone to the breeder, Tita Nora's, and had spoken to her assistant uh, about feeding regime. And her assistant says that Ligaya really absolutely needs to be off the feeder. It's a good thing she's off the baby formula because the nutrients aren't right for her. And then we move to that next step, right, where we blended vegetables and her pellets and all of this, nuts and all of that in a blend, in a gruel. But now the next step is she needs to learn that she has to eat without the syringe. She needs to stop depending on me to administer food using the syringe. Like, if she's hungry, she needs to associate hunger, satisfaction from the hunger, by eating the food, physically, with her beak, swallowing it. And there's no way she's gonna be able to do that if I continue to feed her the gruel. Now, I did give her one little squirt of gruel this morning, uh, just so she could like concentrate, but that's it. And I don't wanna give her any more gruel. All of today, when she was begging for gruel, I just put her by the bowl and she would, you know, bend over and eat on her own. And I see that she is eating the seeds and the pellets and the veggies because I see it in the color of her droppings. So our baby is definitely capable of eating solid foods and weaning off the syringe. I just gotta be strong, like literally. Just a few more hours today and she will have gone, I'm not gonna say a whole day without eating the gruel, but pretty much like a whole day just eating solids. If it means she's gonna drop the weight um, during this process of weaning, so be it. Our bird needs the tough love, you know what I'm saying? She can't be eating from the syringe forever. She needs to learn. And, um, and I know she can, she's smart, she's a smart bird. Tita Nora's assistant had recommended that we try feeding the gruel maybe once every two days perhaps, and then eventually like stopping it completely. You know what's crazy is one of my earliest, earliest memories <laughs> as a baby, and I know this might sound gross, was weaning off my mom's nipple and not like drinking milk. I do remember that as a toddler, I had the urge to like play with my mom's, <laughs> yeah, that sounds so wrong, but to play with my mom's nipple. You know, like maybe it was a comfort thing, but I remember my mom weaning me off it. And I also remember crying because all I wanted to do, like somehow I had associated, like, you know, the nipple with my comfort, you know, as a, as a two year old or a one year old. I find that amazing considering how bad my memory is that I remember 
a memory from two years old. Um, but yeah, and then she eventually, my mom was like, just play with the corner of your pillow and pretend it's the nipple. So I, I did. I remember playing with the corner of a blanket and a pillow and eventually I, I stopped. I grew up. I grew up from the thing that was comforting me as, as a baby. So I know Ligaya can do it too. I just gotta rip it away. Gotta rip that syringe away. You know what? I almost feel like I gotta throw the syringe away. The guy has to have no choice. That syringe is the guy's nipple. <laughs> that sounds weird. The guy, what if I cut you some fresh veggies, huh? You want that? I'm gonna cut you some fresh veggies. Cause these veggies are from this morning. How about that? Fresh veggies. No, there's nothing back there. No gruel. But there's carrot. Mm -hmm. You want to see? Mm. Fresh, delicious carrots. Yes. Mm. You see? Delicious carrots. Thank goodness for carrots, right? So crunchy and solid and delicious. OMG, guys, she is begging. No. Here, oh look, squash and squash seeds. Oh, don't you? Oh, you love squash seeds. Seriously. If there's seeds that you love, I know it's squash. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Really, guys? Yes. Yes. And I know you've been eating the seeds. I can see it in your poo. I can see the seeds in your poo because your poo's green. It means you're actually eating the seeds. There. Mmm. Okay. We got some calamansi for you. Oh, delicious. Mmm. That one has lots of seeds in it. I'm gonna add some cardamom seeds. You love cardamom seeds. Some of these? Yes. Papaya. Mmm. You love papaya seeds too. I'm gonna slice up some cucumbers. Delicious cucumber. Ooh. I know. It's hard being a bird. Now, a lot of breeders make it a rule to never sell the bird until it's fully weaned. This happens to be a lot of the, this happens to be the protocol for breeders, especially in the US. Um, and I think it's law in some places that you can't sell a bird um, as in the bird is raised by the parent or the breeder himself or herself uh, properly weans the bird. Um, and I can see why, because weaning seems to be a very involved and difficult process. But hey, I'm up for the task. Mm -hmm. Point of this vlog, right? Ugh, to experience everything, even the hardships. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, fresh veggies. Come on. It's delicious. I know you're hungry. Let's move away from the kitchen area. Yes. Ugh, so loud. Here, fresh. Mm, there. Here, here, here. Ah, she is flying on me. Here. Here, eat. Eat, here. Eat your veggies. No. No. I said no. Or, or seeds. There are seeds too. You could choose from seeds or veggies. I'm sorry. Okay guys, so I found a solution. So this is a little bit of gruel. Um, here. I'm not feeding her with a syringe, but she is accepting it from a spoon. See that? See? The act of her bending down and eating it on her own. This is progress to me. Look at that. Oh good. It's also teaching her to chew and swallow. Mm-hmm. Which is very good, but no syringe. So that's that's the key. Now, sure, I buckled, I caved, but this is progress to me. At least it's better. Look at her. She's like totally eating on her own. I, I anticipate soon she'll just be able to eat the gruel from the bowl. Here. Yes. Guys, I'm not capable of tough love. I'm a flake. This is my first child, okay? Here. But I see this as progress, yes. And considering she went the whole day without, well, she just had that one squirt of gruel this morning, but that's it. Here. You done? All right. You're making a mess. I think you're done. All right. All right. Let's go.
Guys, I figured it out. She's so quiet on her perch now. This spoon is like my blanket and pillow corner that I used when I was a toddler. This is the key to weaning her off the syringe. Someone's happy and contented. <laughs> yes. I guess that's a... We've come to a good compromise, I suppose, right? She gets to eat, but she's also being weaned off the syringe. As for me, my dinner, also gruel. <laughs> it's soup, guys. Had them deliver soup, pumpkin soup. Why? Because I can't chew stuff still with my wisdom teeth. It's terrible. So I need to drink a gruel too. Mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, truffles! Mm -hmm. Dilish. I can see why the Gaia likes this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Alright, child is asleep and tucked into bed. Yes. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Good morning. Bird's here. She's begging for formula, but I'm not gonna budge. Not yet. I'll wait till like the very last desperate moment and then I'll feed with the spoon. But she did eat her salad this morning, which is great. <laughs> We're laughing because Ligaya now fully flew and landed on a DLC to beg her to make formula. No, no gruel for you. <laughs> Especially not in the morning. If ever, later this evening. <laughs> oh, now you want to befriend Ate Elsie, huh? <laughs> no, she's making coffee, which is not allowed for you. Not allowed, the guys. <laughs> she's watching this. See, Ligaya, no more. We're putting away all the tools. Everything is here. Your syringe, temperature control, all gone. I'm sorry. No, Ligaya, I'm sorry. Come, 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 step up. You have delicious veggies right here. Mmm. Oh. All right, it's now time to give you your dry foods, your pellets, your seeds, your grains, and nuts. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's interested in this. Seeds. Here. Here, Ligaya. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. She's looking at them. She's looking at the seeds. Okay. I'll, I'll step away. She knows I'm filming, so <laughs> she knows the attention is on her. But if I ignore her, she'll probably start eating. You're a big bird now. Ow. Yeah, she keeps looking at Ate Elsie to see if she's making a gruel. Mobohai squad, since she's in such a mood to fly, every time I put her back to the bowl, she flies back on me or on Ate Elsie. I'm gonna take advantage of this with some recall training. Come, Ligaya, come. Come, come, come. Come on. Come, come, come. You wanna be Mr. Mrs. Flappy? Come. Come, come, come. You could do it. You did this when you were younger. Come on. Come, Ligaya, come. Good girl. All right. My dragon. Love this. Mm. I know. It's so hard growing up, isn't it? I know. It's okay. I know you're hungry. So loud. I'm so sorry, my boy squad. Your ears, all of you guys. Headphones are right there. Adelsi's giving you seeds. See? Look at all these awesome seeds. Yes. Oh yes. See, she wants to have seeds. Mmm, and pellets. Okay, good, 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 good. She's protesting, she's turning her back on us. She doesn't want to see it. She doesn't want to show us that. She's enjoying these seeds and nuts and pellets. Mmm, look at all these awesome, awesome seeds. You are, you're the luckiest bird ever. Look at all of those seeds. Lots, lots and lots of seeds to choose from. I'm bringing her here because she's associated this area clearly with food. So now it seems like she's open to eating solid food here. And it makes sense because, I mean, she sees 
all of us eating at this table throughout the day. I mean, this is the exact spot where I fed her formula growing up. She sees me cutting the vegetables and making her gruel in this area. So yeah, makes total sense that she's eating here and not by her cage. But hey, look, she's actually eating. I'm happy about this. Guys, I think it's working. I'm getting a little emotional watching her eat seeds like this. Like just the whole beauty of the developing bird. Oh, it's just so amazing. I think we're slowly <laughs> reaching the light at the end of the tunnel, guys. She's wandered away from the bowl, but now I'm gonna, mmm, mmm. These seeds are del delicious. Gotta convince her to come back. Yes, success, success. Oh, sweet success. Now here's another pellet that the breeder gave us. Um, it's colorful. Now I'm sure it's artificial colors, which is not always the best for pellets, but after showing the Gaia that you could crunch these, she can't get enough of them. This is her first time eating this kind of pellet. It's not like the plain brown ones. She actually likes crunching them. And you know, it's like kids, right? Kids like crunch. Sure, fish sticks and fries are not the healthiest food, but if it'll get your kids to eat, here. Why not? Mmm. Okay, but don't be picking out your favorite colors now. This is not Skittles, you know what I'm saying? She likes the green ones, but I'm trying to teach her that you could eat all the colors. Okay, good. Yes, that was orange. <laughs> and there's red. Look, red, your favorite color. Look, I gotta crunch it. Oops, she likes to hear that it crunches. See? Don't you love that crunch? So satisfying to crunch. I've never seen her so eager to eat these pellets. I'm so happy. It is so satisfying. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll stop vlogging you. Fine. Go eat in peace. All right, guys. Morning walk as usual. <laughs> And the great news is, Legaya has been eating the pellets. She spent a good 20 minutes eating those new pellets. I've never seen her so enthusiastic about solid food ever. This whole journey with raising this bird has been a roller coaster, seriously. <laughs> at times we feel like we're making headway, and at times I'm like banging my head against the wall, seriously. <laughs> But I guess it's all part of bird parenting, isn't it? So this journey of weaning the bird will continue, but I do think we've made great progress today. At least we know she will eat by the table her solid foods, and she loves the new pellets. All right, guys. So now I am paying my good friend Roland a visit. Yes, the parrot collector and owner who lives here, of course, my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And it's for something really special that Roland has offered to make for the Gaia. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Here we go. Let's ring the doorbell. Oh, it's a buzzer. Here we go, my boy squad. 